All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about sex. A lot of us have had or still have some questions about sex and just want to be open and transparent about them. So I have Gina in the cut. Hi guys. She's going to give her two cents and some questions and I hope y'all are entertained. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's going to be good. Alright, enjoy the video. Yeah. But I can't right now because I falls with you. When time fly by, shit change. Yeah. Right now I'm feeling like Alright, we're we'll back to another video. Hope y'all subscribe and like the video because in every single video I aspire to both entertain you and to educate you. It's what I call edutainment. So definitely subscribe, like, I appreciate you. Alright, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Alright, so we're gonna jump right into it. The first question is how was it like losing your virginity? And how old were you? What's it like? Um, for me, it was kind of like a an unfortunate experience. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I was super, super like ready to kind of enjoy that experience. Mm -hmm. um, I was in a relationship at the time uh, with this guy that I had been dating uh, for a while, yeah, yeah. and you know, we just like felt like it was that time in our relationship that we could actually move forward and yeah. experience that together. Um, and like, of course, I was around, oh my goodness, oh. I, I want to say like 15 or 16, Okay. but like, like one of those, it was like March break of one of those years, I can't remember if it was okay. like between grade 9 and grade 10, mm. yeah, I think it was that. So however old you are when you're like, in, yeah, so like 15, yeah, yeah I was 15, okay, okay. but um, yeah, so. It was a good experience. Like, not like not a great first time. Like by any means. I think I don't think anybody's first time. No, like, no. Great, like great. maybe some people's. Like apparently I was really good. <laughs> 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 okay, um, but like I don't know. It wasn't even his first time either, though. Oh, so shit. like that's that's what makes this whole story that we're gonna delve into a lot more interesting. Oh, shit. Next question. <laughs> oh well, yeah, mine was like I don't know. It's actually one of those like my virginity story. Check, do... check out my uh, my story time here. Okay. Because she had a interesting situation but yeah i was like 21 so like i was like my whole fantasy was like I'm, I'm still 21 okay bitch i lost okay. it this year <laughs> okay. like, oh back okay. in the day <laughs> i lost I was... it this year actually uh so i was thinking about joining some marriage and whatnot and then like things happen and you know, i was very disappointed to find out that he didn't wait till marriage because i was like hey i love it you know he's like the guy that every girl wants it's a christian guy you know but um he did not wait. This is what it is. The devil's influence. <laughs> uh, How did you feel after your first time? Um, basically, like the first thought that crossed my mind was like, that was it. Like, oh shit. Anymore? Well, how long was it? it was, um, uh, well, I mean, it's it's like a pretty weird story. Okay, so like we had planned on doing it during March break, and like we picked a day kind of thing. And um, his parents were gonna like go out for a walk to walk the dog. Mm -hmm. And so they went out and I was like super nervous, but like not like a like, I don't wanna do this kind of way. Cause like, I was like, fuck, like it's about time. It was, yeah, it was like six months into our relationship. And I was like, you know, like, I think I'm ready. And like, I knew him my entire life and we had dated a couple of times, like puppy love kind of thing. But I was like, <laughs> I felt like I was genuinely like in love for the first time kind of thing. And um, so his parents went for a walk with the dog, left the house, we were all alone, his sisters weren't home. And um, I guess like we took too long sort of getting into things, like we hadn't had sex yet. Mm. So we were just like, you know, warming up, hunting. that kind of stuff. <laughs> and taking it slow. And then, <sighs> worst thing happened, we heard like, I heard like a car door slam or whatever and I was like oh my god is that your parents and he's like no like they didn't take the car they went for a walk and I was like no but that sounded way too close to not be a car door in your driveway so like he was like oh like I'll look and then he like looked and then like as he was like oh no one's there we heard the friggin front door slam and we're like oh shit oh no oh, shit. oh my god <laughs> so his mom was like guys where are you and um, so like here we are like in the dark upstairs in his room like trying to put clothes on I, I left like I didn't have any underwear on I just like put my jogging pants on like fuck the bra like put my shirt on put my sweater on and I was like okay like tuck my bra underwear under my sweater so I was like okay like no evidence but like fucking the guy that I was dating was just like 
fucking panicking and like was under the sheets and just like didn't get dressed and I was like, what are you doing? Like, get ready. And so his mom like walks into the room and she's like, guys, you know you're not allowed to be in here alone. And like, why are the lights off? And then I was like, mm, show me his uh, his room kind of thing. And I was like, oh yeah. And I was like, yeah, I've totally been in his room before, but like, it was like, you know, spur of the moment kind of lied. So we went downstairs and, uh, you know, she ended up having a conversation with us, like the talk, yeah, yeah. and uh, it was like super fucking awkward. And here we are, like a 15 and a 16 year old, just sitting in the living room, like kind of like this. And she's like trying to like talk to us, and she was like, you know, like guys are too young for this kind of stuff. You don't fully understand what's at stake here, or like what's going on. If you guys have any questions, you can talk to me about it. And we were just like. Mm, no, like so. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Like me and my parents have a super open relationship about like any questions that I have about sex or whatever. Like, bitch, I already asked those kind of thing. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I was like, yo, I'm ready. I, I got all this information. Like a lot less than I do now, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Like I definitely know more information about sex and like prevention and you know that kind of stuff, like pregnancy prevention. But um, <laughs> like it was just super awkward. So that kind of killed the mood mm -hmm. a little bit. Just as much so we didn't end up having sex yet um but like i didn't go home or anything so it wasn't like that like die of embarrassment of a moment um so like later on that night we were like having pizza and watching movies downstairs in his basement and um like yeah, this was again? yeah this was back before netflix wasn't there like wasn't a thing or like he didn't have it or whatever so um we like we were on the couch and like watching like a movie but then like a commercial came on yeah and so like it was like a string of commercials there's usually like four minutes of commercials kind of thing okay. so so i was like oh like fuck it i want to like i want to do this so during the commercial break so during the commercial break we like took off our pants and like had like got a condom on and like started having sex and then like bitch the commercial lasted 37 seconds and he was done by the time the commercial like was done so it was show me what you got because i don't like that, that's why my first thought was like wait that's it like, this is sex like oh why is everybody so i don't know like it's why is everybody all so the hype for nothing yeah exactly so i was just so confused and it does get better so don't worry um for those out there who might have experienced uh i don't know we have a friend and uh we call him minute mike so if anybody's out there who has a minute mike or somebody oh, like my my boyfriend at the time 37 seconds, it does get better. There are better people out there, you know? And, you know, I would have like completely understood if it was his first time too, or like, you know, now you know if you're going to go on a date, like a sexual date with someone, you definitely have to masturbate before you go just to like get one out of the tank so oh, you're shit. not like yeah, super that's, nervous. That's, that's a pro tip. Right? <laughs> just, just, just there you gems. go, boys. Gotcha. But uh, get one out of the tank so you're good to go on your date, you're not nervous. Um, you're a lot more confident, which, you know, turns on the ladies a little bit more. Um, Olavi's like, oh, I don't have any confidence. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so definitely was kind of disappointing. And, and But like, I didn't have anything to compare it to. So I was just kind of like, oh, so this is sex. Like, whatever. It didn't hurt me at all. I know some people have like horror stories about how like they like pop their cherry, like their hymen their broke. And um and they were just like petrified about like, oh, they thought they were gonna die or something like that. And I was just like, no, like it didn't hurt for me. Um, it didn't feel like anything. Like it literally felt like n not nothing, but just like a sensation of somebody rubbing any other part of your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it was no by, by no means any like good type of sex for our first time, but um, it didn't hurt me. So like I was, I was super blessed that um, I didn't have like a terrible experience, but like looking back, uh, even after like not the best. yeah even after like um i dated another guy kind of thing just to compare that to it was wow like that's it like that that's all it was kind of thing and then i was like damn that was some terrible sex the first time but it wasn't it wasn't like the worst thing that could have ever happened like i didn't cry or anything like he didn't cry luckily some guys do that's i heard i don't know <laughs> but yeah moving on <laughs> um what would you say to someone that wants to wait till marriage to have sex? Absolutely, it's up to you, it's yeah, your choice. Your body. Um, for sure, like that's why when you, you were telling me that you wanted to way back in the day, last year, um, <laughs> you wanted to wait till marriage and I had like the utmost yeah. respect for you. Yeah. Like, I don't, you know. I don't think anybody's gonna really judge you. I mean, some people do. Some no, some do. people are literally like, 
man, you're a prude or something yeah. like, I don't know, especially for, for girls or whatever. Like if, if a guy dates a girl and then finds out that she wants to wait till marriage, he's either like trying to, I don't know, some people try and pressure them into having sex mm -hmm. beforehand because like, oh, like I didn't know what I was getting into. You can't make me wait for this. And it's just like, no, like, uh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go into like a different topic another time on yeah. another video about like healthy, good relationships and like compare them to bad relationships and then y'all can uh, check it at home and, and see what <laughs> which one you kind of fall into. Yeah, I promise most of you guys are not going to be super happy with the results. So I mean like, <laughs> just do it because you generally want to do it, don't do it because someone's yeah. pressuring you. No, and exactly. That's the main, main thing right now. No, there. and if and if it's like for religious reasons, then like the person that you're with should respect that enough yeah. to like, if, I don't know, for me, I, I, I really like attaching emotional value to physical stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and like, not always, but most of the time, like for every, Every situation is unique, obviously, but um, I, I really attach like emotional value to um, how far I like open myself up to somebody, somebody um, like physically and stuff like that. But no, like to each their own. I don't, I don't hate on anybody for not having sex. I don't hate on anybody for having a lot of sex. Like that's as long as it's safe. It's not, as as it's, it's none of my business. <laughs> yes, please have safe sex. Um, just do the world a favor and do yourselves a favor. Yeah, nobody wants nobody wants dirty bits down there, you know, <laughs> filled with chlamydia and stuff. Uh, how long do you like to wait until the first time in a new relationship? Um, I mean, I think for guys it's like whenever, but like yeah? for girls it's like... I don't know. Um, so the first time, like the time that I lost my virginity, I mentioned that I waited six months. Um, and I, I feel like that's, that's like a pretty long time. We were together for, you know, almost a year kind of thing, but we had dated in the past too. So I, I guess like we had known each other our whole lives. We had dated twice before, just like as kids kind of thing in like grade eight and was puppy love, like I mentioned. Um, and we, we had waited six months and then, um, you know, the one after that, it wasn't too long kind of thing. But like every relationship I've ever been in, I've dated the person for like an extended period of time. So I find that like when you put it into perspective, I didn't wait too long, but like we stayed together for a long time. So like I didn't have any regrets of not waiting too, too long. Um, but like with like my current one, we, I made him wait like a month because I didn't want to I, like I didn't want it to be just like a thing like yeah. we did everything else but have sex, okay, okay. But, <laughs> but you know like you know woman the woman's got needs mm -hmm. yeah so did he I guess but like <laughs> I don't know so I guess let's say like if you I guess want to start building I just I guess the main thing is like if you're gonna have sex just have it because you generally want to have it have yeah. it I mean you could still wait a month or yeah. you know two weeks or the first day for, for, for whatever reason but like do it because you generally want to do it not because you think oh he'll necessarily stay or because he'll necessarily leave you yeah no no for sure um i completely agree i really hate when people feel pressured to do something yeah um it's just like it's totally wrong and it's kind of in that gray area where it's like oh like they're they're consenting but you know there's that certain level of unease that they feel mm -hmm. and i just like i really don't respect people that can't pick up on those signs you know like guys out there and I'm, I'm not trying to like be you know biased to a specific population of just the men because yeah, yeah. like some ladies y'all need to chill too um but, but most of the time in my experience anyways um the guys like they just you should be able to pick up if a girl's into it or like if she's kind of hesitant because if she's hesitant then you know it's falling into that gray area of oh, like, like, you really shouldn't fucking be touching her if she's kind of like cringing yeah. every time that you like kiss her neck and it's like, oh, that's like borderline getting into some sexual harassment kind of so stuff me, if or I, worse. So if a girl's not into 100%, I'm just like, Yeah, nah. you're just like, I'm oh, like, oh no, we can wait, okay. we'll do some other day. Leave the situation or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. for sure. Respect. Right. <laughs> good for you, good for you. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so as y'all can see, the video's running a bit long. So look out for the part two of our video just now. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Like the video, subscribe, follow Gina on all her social medias. I'm gonna leave, leave her Instagram, Snapchat. Yeah. Um, That's it. Facebook, I don't know. <laughs> Facebook is all day. <laughs> and my parents have Facebook. Don't don't write any mean things. Um, but yeah, right. Instagram, I guess. Oh, Enjoy the video. See you guys later. Bye. Peace.